good everyone in this video I'm going to show you how I upload my twitch streams to YouTube so with that being said shout out to my boy Kenny Thomas uh, he asked me to um, do this video uh, he's one of my um, supporters and I appreciate all the support that I do get so what I normally do is um, is set up my final cut I'm on Mac I know mostly everyone uses um, primarily Windows PC whatever so there this program right here Final Cut Pro is the only different program that I use that will be different for Windows um, there's others like Camtasia um, Sony Vegas but I'll leave a link to Dark Holy's page he had uh, he did a video on this that are, that are a couple of them that are free and some that are paid and then you get to choose whichever one suits your needs so with that um, what is the easiest way the easiest way well is to go to the easiest way is to go to twitch, Where is twitch, 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 twitch. let's go to twitch um, let me show you from the start. You go to Twitch, you log in, then you go to Video Manager. Once you're in Video Manager, it's going to show you all your videos that you have available to export or make highlights out of. So we're going to just choose the shortest video. Uh, yeah, let's choose this one. So we're going to choose, no, this one's 18 minutes. All right, we're going to choose this one. And the easiest way, if you don't want to add no intro, no commentary you want to show the whole thing as is will be this way you just change the title change the description or add your description add your tags make it public uh, and then it tells you to that gives you the option to split your video into 15 minutes if you don't you want to leave the whole two hours one hour whatever uncut then you just leave it as no if you want to break it up into uh, let's say you have an hour stream and you want to break it up into four videos then you click yes and it'll break you up 15 each video will be 15 minutes um, also remember that if your account your YouTube account isn't verified the maximum the maximum allowed upload length will be 15 minutes that's if you know if you click no and you have an hour stream if your account isn't verified, it's only gonna upload 15 upload 15 minutes of that hour. Then you click export. If it's um, set up in your connections, as you see, I have my Facebook, Twitter, my Xbox One, all set up. It you won't have to add anything. It'll be pretty much. It'll just go. All right. So the tool that I use to download is nightdev.com. Um, here you can see if you have a specific highlight that you created in Twitch, um, you can use that. That it it'll give you a, a link in the URL, and you just put that here once you're in your highlight. Or if you want to view somebody else's channel and highlights, you can add it here and submit, and it'll bring it up. Or if, but mainly you want to use yours, right? So what I'm gonna do is connect with my Twitch. Since I'm already logged into Twitch, um, it already populated. So once it populated, um, it was gonna populate all the videos that's available to download. And I think it was which one was like 18? It was this. Yeah, this one was eight. So we're gonna use this. You can use whichever one you, that's available, but I'm gonna use this just for this video. Uh, it's gonna ask you a, a capture question, and then you click download pretty simple um, this one is only 18 minutes so it uploaded the whole 18 minutes but if you have an hour it might say part one part two part three part four and you could pick which part you want to upload or download rather so you click part one so as you can see it's downloading so it lets you know it's done and what file format comes up is FLV um, 
you um youtube does not accept flv you would have to convert it so the program i use is handbrake so since i had one already set up um i'm just gonna look for five live user 517 this one so i'm gonna let it do its thing i didn't change any settings i never changed the setting and it's automatically, it only has two file formats to convert it to, MP4 and MKV. Um, Handbrake is available for Windows. What I'm going to do, click start, let it do its thing. All right, so the, vi the video is uh, almost finished um, converting to an MP4. Once it's completely done, Handbrake will give you a notification. So let's just wait for that notification. And as you can see, I sent it to my desktop. So I will just check that once it's done. Bam. There you go. You got the notification. So you can close this. And let's just make sure that it's there. Uh, where is it? There we go. Damn. Hope it didn't stop. Did it stop? All right, cool. All right, so this is going to be the file right here. So once that's done, oh well, now that it's done, it's on your desktop. What you're going to do is, with Final Cut, what I do is just drag and drop. Now that it's in um, your video editor, which is mine, is Final Cut, um, whatever one you're using for Windows. However, it does that. Um, you let it render, but instead of using this twitch live stream i am going to use this video and show you how i go about and edit it so once the clip is now down in your project area um as you can see i already started making a few adjustments to this clip and once you're finished with your clip and the way that you want it to sound um, what I do is go to file, then go to share. Um, I would use the master file um, option, but you already saw how I would convert it to an MP4 because it is an MOV format. Convert it to an MP4 so it would be a smaller file. So I'm going to just send it straight to YouTube. So I click send to YouTube, and here comes another window where I can change the title, add a description, uh, change who it's from, add tags, all that good stuff. Now I'm going to enter my password since my YouTube's already connected. Um, it's going to ask me if I agree with YouTube's terms of service, which of course, because I want my um, video on YouTube. So I'm going to go over to my web browser and I'm going to go to YouTube. I'm already side signed in. So I'm just going to go into um, my channel or the settings, actually. I'm going to go to the settings and click that little cogwheel. Um, then I'm going to click um, view additional features. Uh, once I click that, I'm going to go to video manager. Now that I'm in video manager, um, we're going to see that my video will appear uh, when this is finished rendering and once YouTube um, gets it. So let's go ahead and hit refresh. Um, now as you can see you get the notification from Final Cut Pro and if you happen to be on YouTube you get your visual proof that it's there. Now YouTube is processing your video like it would always do and it depends on how long your video is will determine how long the processing takes so I hope this um, tutorial was helpful and I'm about to be out this is King Dre FTW signing off from the official we game here .com.